Okay, so now let's look at the EQ channel view. Okay, we press the EQ mode button, which is the store button, a second time, and we are now have moved from EQ mixer view into EQ channel view, and the LED display here now changes to show E9, which is LED speak for EQ, the 9 is a Q, okay? And conveniently the GUI for the channel EQ pops up in Logic for the selected track and channel strip combination, which in this case is track and channel strip number 1, okay? Okay, so now that we're into this EQ channel view, we have access to every single parameter of every single EQ band for the t selected track and channel strip combination, okay? When you are in this EQ channel view, the top row of 8 pots becomes split in half, okay? The f each set of 4 is one EQ band. Okay, so this is one EQ band, and this is another EQ band, okay? Now there are 8 bands of EQ in Logic's channel EQ. So, if this is a band of EQ, and this is a band of EQ, that's just two bands in total. So which two bands are we controlling and how do we move from each set of two bands to the next or previous set of two bands? Okay, well we need to step up and down the EQ bands in pages, okay? And you do that using the lower shift and the cursor left and right, these two buttons here. However, it would be nice, wouldn't it, if we had some sort of display on the BCF to show us which page of EQ bands that we're in. There is actually a way of doing that. Okay, now if we close the GUI over here, and uh, what you need to do is you need to look at your controller setup. Okay, look in the surface, uh, the control surface group here, and go down the list, and the first item is flip mode, which should be off, and the second item is display mode. And that by default will be set to value. Okay, now what you do is you just left click on that word value once and it changes to name. And now look, oh yes, we now have a page number in the channel EQ display. Okay, so I'll drag this setup out of the way. Okay, so now we know which page of EQ bands we're in. Okay, so we can use the lower shift and the uh, cursor. Uh, left and right to step up and down the pages of EQ bands. Okay, so this is, we're in channel EQ, page one. So that's the first page. So this is EQ band one, these four pots, and these four pots are EQ band two. So that's the low cut, and that's the low shelf. Hold down shift, cursor up, and we're now in channel EQ, page two. So this is EQ band 3 and EQ band 4, EQ band 5, EQ band 6, EQ band 7, EQ band 8. It's as simple as that. Okay, so look, I'll go back down to the first page. Okay, so we are in EQ channel view page 1. So this is EQ band 1, these four pots, which is the low cut, all four parameters. And this is the EQ band 2, the low shelf, all four parameters. Now, each set of four pots, the parameters are always the same for each of the four pots in the cluster. The last of each four set of pots is the, uh, the on-off for the EQ band. Okay, so let me just cycle around the EQ mode button to get the GUI to pop up there in Logic. Okay, so we're in EQ, channel, view, page one. These four pots are the first EQ band, the low cut. These four pots are the second EQ band, the low shelf. So this fourth pot in this cluster of four is the on-off for the low shelf, and this is the on-off for the low cut. Okay. So the other three pots in each cluster of four, they also always have the same parameters. Frequency, um, gain or shelving, depending on the type of EQ band you are controlling, and Q. This is always Q. So this is always frequency, this is always Q, this is always on off, and the second one is either boost and cut, 
okay or if it's the the low cut or the high cut band it's the shelving amount in db octave okay okay so um, this is the second eq band the shelving eq so i can raise that up using the gain and then i can adjust the frequency up and down and the third pot is the Q, I can adjust the Q like that. And then you press each one to reset it to its default. Switch the band on or off with this one. Okay. Okay, and once you finish fiddling, there's a delay and then the page number reappears again in the LED display there. So let's ste step up to the next page of EQ bands. Again, we're still working on the EQ, the channel EQ for the first track and channel strip combination. That's the highlighted track and channel strip combination on the BCF and in Logic, which you can see here is uh, track and channel strip number one. Okay, so we're now in the second page of channel EQ, which means this is EQ band three and this is EQ band four. So we're now looking at the first two peak EQs. Okay, and it's the same thing again. Each, this is, this is the third EQ band peak EQ1 and this is the fourth EQ band peak EQ2 and the fourth pot is always the on off on off on off and then if we take the second peak EQ here again the pots are always the same frequency gain and Q so I'll boost the gain then I can adjust the frequency up and down and I can tighten by turning clockwise or widen by turning counterclockwise the Q and again, you press each parameter pot to reset. This is the first peak EQ, on, off, gain, frequency, Q. Reset, reset, reset. Simple as that, on, off. So there you go. And then you'd step through to the third page. This will be EQ band five and six, the top two peak EQs. Step forward again and we're on the last page, page four, and these are the top two EQ bands, which is the high shelf and the high cut. Okay, so if I switch the high cut in, okay, now these are the four pots, this is the frequency, but because we're in a high, a high cut now, which has a dB octave instead of a gain, when I turn this you'll see dB octave amount changing. Look, 6, 12, 18. 24, 36, 48. Then that is the frequency. And that's your Q. Okay. Reset, reset, reset. Turn it off. Simple as that. Okay, so there you go. So that's how you access all the EQ bands for whichever highlighted track and channel strip combination you're working on. Simple as that. I'll step back to the first page. Oh, and we've got a page display. Fantastic. Okay, so that's EQ channel view. Oh, and the other beauty of it is, is once you've gone into that EQ channel view um, and the GUI has popped up in Logic, you can just change to whichever track and channel strip you want. You know, that's number five, six, seven, eight. And the EQ, the channel EQ GUI in Logic just changes. It always updates. So, you know, you don't have to keep reopening, closing and reopening the EQ mode. You just once you're in EQ mode, you just choose the track you want to tweak and then make sure you're on the right page number and tweak away at the EQ parameters. As simple as that. Okay, so that's EQ channel view. Fantastic, lovely jubbly. And um, we're really cooking now. Um, so, you've got your EQ mixer view, which gives you access to one parameter per channel. EQ channel view, all parameters in pages for the selected channel. Now, there is another quite useful EQ mode, which is frequency gain mode, which I'll show you about next. And then I'll just show you a little tweaks that you can do with the way that the LED pots display for the different type of parameters. Okay.